Hi everyone. I have been using Cloud Code for some time, and I must say I'm really amazed by its capabilities. Uh, this is a nice, wonderful framework for creating AI agents. A lot of people, of course, use it for code generation, understanding their code bases, fixing bugs. Uh, but its actually capabilities goes much beyond code generation. So I wanted to actually experiment um, if I can actually uh, do code generation, but do something else. For example, storytelling. Uh, so in this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how I actually I have used uh, Cloud Code to create multiple agents, uh, which takes you uh, from the data to create a dashboard and also create a blog telling the story uh, from the dashboard. So I have been trying to uh, kind of create a dashboard about a market structure. Uh, I wanted, always wanted to have a nice dashboard to kind of deep dive into a specific industry or sector. For example, it's automobiles. So who are the key players in the automobile sector? Uh, what are the relative market capitalization looks like? And if the total revenue generated by a specific industry sector is a certain amount, then whose share is how much? Um, the same goes for the profits. So uh, I have actually created a uh, cloud code agent, uh, which reads the data, creates a dashboard, and tells the story about uh, uh, those specific sectors. So first, what I'll do is I'm going to take you through uh, the dashboard that the cloud code has created with a minimum instruction and minimal intervention. And then I'll also take you through the steps of how to create uh, such an agent. Here is the dashboard that's created by Cloud Code. Um, it's very nicely structured. Uh, I haven't given very detailed instructions. I've given the overall intent of what I wanted from the dashboard. And it has gone and understood uh, a little deeper uh, what is required and get this beautiful dashboard. For me, uh, you can actually, it has given a drop down menu to select uh, the industry that you want to explore. For example, automobiles, and we have the data about 14 companies in that industry in automobile sector. Uh, it also shows you the total market capitalization and 79% uh, of the companies are profitable. And it uh, compares it shows uh, the tree map. The tree map is a wonderful way to look at the relative size of the companies in terms of either market capitalization, sales, or profits. So let's say if you choose market cap, and then if you look at that, Maruti uh, now has the highest market cap in that particular sector, uh, followed by Mahindra, Mahindra, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can actually scroll over and it also shows you much more details. For example, what the sales revenue, this is for a particular uh, quarter in 2000, Q1, 2025. And you can also select sales performances. So the Tata Motors is the uh, highest sales revenue uh, and then the profitability. Um, you can also look at by the actual profit amount or profit margins. And it also has created a multi-dimensional, uh, like a scatter plot uh, with the bubble uh, charts, uh, where you can compare uh, two factors, for example, market cap versus sales or sales versus profits and so on and so forth, uh, with the bubbles as a third factor. Uh, and it also shows you uh, something like uh, the HHI index. I had asked uh, uh, in my instructions to also calculate the HHI index. So HHI index is primarily uh, the summation of the percentage uh, of a particular factor, for example, market cap, right? Um, it kind of shows you if the market is highly concentrated, that means uh, it is primarily controlled by very few 
uh, players or highly competitive with a lot of players are actually sharing the revenue uh, for example if uh, one of the company has a 90% of the share and the remaining are only have a 2-3% the value will be very high but when there are many players who holds like 10% of the share or 15% of the share the value will be very low uh, so there is a, a thumb rule saying you know if HHI is below 1500 it's a highly competitive unconcentrated market uh, between 1500 to 2500 indicates a moderately concentrated and beyond 2500 is a highly concentrated like a monopoly for example if we look at uh, uh, automobiles the hhi index is about 1441 saying that's um, highly competitive similarly if you look at let's say pharmaceuticals it's also quite competitive in fact the hhi index is even lesser so a lot of players are uh, there in the market but if you look at let's say insurance right uh, the hsi index is a little higher uh, so mostly lic and sba are controlling the uh, the majority of the market share in terms of market cap but in terms of uh, sales also it's very high so most of the uh, revenue is actually shared by uh, lic compared to other players in the market uh, so this is a nice interesting view of uh, the market structure and you can also look at uh, in terms of uh, the multi dimensions you can compare let's say sales uh, with profit and market cap as the bubbles that's for the insurance sector you can see this is where the lic is through how this whole uh, cloud code agent is created uh, the cloud code provides uh, something called sub agents so you can actually decompose the uh, very complex task into very individual tasks so that uh, a sub agent can take responsibility of that particular task and accomplish them and then we can bind them together right either through uh, there is another feature called command which can actually invoke these sub agents to kind of orchestrate the whole task end to end so i have taken help of two things sub agents and commands um, you can go through the documentation of creating sub agents and commands the cloud code documentation but let me also show you through how this particular uh, project is actually created uh, for the purpose of this uh, project uh, i have created three sub agents one that explores the plan the intent uh, for example uh, it looks at the data understand if all the data elements are available they are clean and if some new data elements has to be uh, curated from the existing data elements and then prepares a new subset of the data um, of course for this particular dashboard i did not uh, need to create additional data elements but anyway i have created a, an agent which can be used uh, reused in future in case you wanted to create we want to create some new elements from the existing data elements and then uh, that's one uh, sub agent who looks at the data and creates a data dictionary uh, and the plan and then the second one is uh, the uh, build chart agent which reads the data and creates the charts the dashboards this is the actual code generation agent uh, so you understand the overall intent of the dashboard and then creates all the elements uh, and on the dashboard and the third one is a storytelling agent which browses to the dashboard looks at the key insights and then writes a nice little blog uh, i have of course a limited uh, it to write a blog for less than 500 words and um, it brings out the the core insight from the dashboard so three specialist agents working in harmony uh, to do the overall task um, so i'm going to give the link uh, to the dashboard and the blog 
uh, in the description of the video you can actually explore yourself and also recreate if you want it uh, and how do you actually write these agents sub agents so cloud code allows you to write in a markdown file you simply provide the detail prompts and instructions what the uh, core objective of the sub agent uh, what the core responsibilities and what are the tasks that you must accomplish for example the name is data explorer loads the data assesses the data quality cleans and creates new metrics if required uh, and then i have given the input way to read the data on the local system and where the output location where the file should be in case it wants to create a subset of the file for uh, you know, uh, for chart creation uh, and what's the workflow is uh, so you have pretty much um, have a lot of uh, freedom here to kind of write your whole in set of instructions uh, this is anyway uh, this is almost like writing a prompt so load and inspect the data clean and transform create subsets if required document that's very important so as the agent does it to work it also documents everything it also create data dictionary um, and then the visualization agent the chart builder so you are the uh, create chart agent and you can specify what particular library it has to use and then again the input data which is created by the previous agent and the output location and i have also given a nice file structure how the file should be created so it reads the plan review the recommended visualization check the data dictionary um, choose the appropriate chart types uh, it can does it it can actually uh, select the chart by itself or you can override that by specifying uh, the chart that we want to create as well All right and then um the structure of the code generation is actually given here so it should create javascript file separately the style sheet the html which embeds all them together uh, for the dashboard creation and finally the storytelling agent which um, you know writes uh, the story uh, by exploring the dashboard itself um and then how did uh, all are brought together so you can write a command um, which uh, again i give a description what's overall objective of this so analyze industry structure dynamics uh, concentrated market or fragmented market uh, looks at the market cap sales and profit uh, of players and specific industry i give in the context of it and the task is uh, so in the task Uh, i have actually specified how to actually use this sub agents to orchestrate the whole workflow for example data use data explorer sub agent to understand data elements required for this use chart builder sub agents to visualize the market structure and here, here i have actually given little more detail how to create the dashboard so create different charts for market cap sales and profit for different perspectives and also create a scatter plot for finding relationship between two matrices um and i also given uh to add footer highlights right and for uh different tabs and then finally use a storyteller as sub agent to write the blog with the findings so if you look at the vs code um under cloud we have a three agents explore plan create charts and write story and then we have a m structure which holds uh binds all this a sub agents together so now um you can go and check if the agents are you know now you can see all these agents are now added specific project agents of course they have their own built in agents which also can be used and all you have to do is now once you write this markdown instructions for sub agents and the commands um you can simply you can see the m structure is actually added as one of the command 
right? If you execute this one, uh, of course, it starts uh, building the dashboard and write the story. It takes some time. I won't say uh, in one iteration the whole dashboard is created, but 90% of it is created. Then, of course, you still have to go through uh, and make a little bit of fixes. And all those fixes can be actually specified here in the command line itself. And with about, of course, by four, fourth or fifth iteration, the dashboard is almost uh, ready. And you can see it actually creates all the charts here um, in the same uh, format that I have asked uh, in the chart builder agent to create uh, those files. So the core principle that um, I learned by building this is uh, single responsibility for agent. Uh, don't try to combine multiple different tasks into one single agent, rather create multiple sub agents. Uh, markdown plans as a contracts. So as we create a sub agents and the tasks get transferred from one sub agent to the other sub agent, each sub agent should actually create a plan so that it can be transferred to the next sub agent created by the storyteller. And um, this is the blog written by the, uh, the final storytelling agent. Uh, you can see it actually has specified a uh, few of the highlights from the dashboard. For example, the automobile sector follows closely the foreign companies, while the pharmaceuticals shows a more distributed market structure with this. The both banking and the pharmaceutical boast 100% profitability, whereas automobiles have a 79% of the profitability, right? So nice, uh, interesting insights are highlighted by the storytelling agent as well. So I, I feel um, this particular framework gives almost like a super power, what probably would have taken many days to create, uh, think through and create this dashboard and write a blog about it. It actually almost created uh, within a few hours. Um, so thank you for watching this video. I'm going to give you again the link to the blog and the dashboard in the description of the video. You can explore and uh, leave your comments. Uh, so I'll be creating some more uh, uh, cloud code agents in future and I'm going to share it. Thank you. Until next time.